Hello, and thank you for choosing the Clarity Alto Telephone. We hope you enjoy our product and want to give you a little bit of information to help you better enjoy your experience with the Alto. First, when you open the box, the user guide, along with the quick start guide and other documentation, are found with the unit. So if you want to refer back to any information we cover in this video, it's all there for you. Also, you'll notice that the power adapter and the phone line cord are already plugged into the base of the phone for your convenience. To begin, install four AA batteries in the base by removing the battery cover and inserting the batteries. This will allow the telephone features like amplification and indicator lights to continue operating during a power outage for up to 48 hours. The phone will function as an ordinary telephone without electrical power. Next, let's plug the base into the wall jacks. Hold the line cord at the point where it is connected to the base with one hand. Take the other end of the wrapped cord in your other hand and simply pull. The cord will extend to its full length. Plug the loose end into the wall phone jack. Do the same thing with the power adapter and plug it into an electrical outlet. Place the handset onto the base's cradle. Lift the handset. You should hear a dial tone. If not, check all your connections. Let's take a look at some of the features on the bottom of the base. First, this switch turns on the voice assist function. When turned on, the phone will speak the numbers pressed on the number pad, both through the handset or speakerphone. This switch turns the boost function on and off. Don't worry, we'll cover the boost function a little later. The next switch turns on the missed call function. When it's turned on, you will see a flashing light when you've at least missed one call. Next is the voicemail function. If you have a voicemail feature on your phone service, this will let you know when you have a voicemail. This last switch toggles between touch tone or pulse functions the phone will use when dialing. On the back of the base, you will find ports to plug in a neck loop, a headset, or the bed shaker, each sold separately. Let's check out some of the most used features on the phone first. Here is the volume control wheel. You can use it to turn up or down the volume of an incoming call during a call. When the phone is not in use, the volume wheel adjusts the ringer volume up or down. This is the tone button. When you are not on a call, you can use it to select your ringtone. During a call, the tone button switches among the six available tone settings. Each tone setting has a different emphasis of frequencies. There are five presets and one custom setting for the tone. The LCD display will let you know which tone setting you are currently using. Tone 1 is for low frequency, low pitched sounds. Tone 2 is the flat frequency response. It is best for hearing all ranges of frequency amplified. Tones 3 and 4 emphasize high frequencies to fit most people's levels of hearing loss. The hearing aid setting is recommended for hearing aid users to maximize the effectiveness of the audio performance with the presence of a hearing aid near the handset. The custom setting is accessed by holding down the tone button until the numeric pad flashes. Then you can use the volume wheel to adjust the tone up and down within a range of 0 to 60. Once you have the optimal tone for you, release the volume wheel until the volume level reappears or press tone quickly and TC will flash on the display screen. This is now the sixth tone setting for your phone. This is the boost button. Use it to enable boost mode to amplify the voice of the person you're speaking to. It will raise the volume of the caller's voice up to 50 decibels. If you have selected to keep the boost override on the bass in the off position, you can press the boost button during a call to boost the volume. If you have selected the boost mode to be on automatically, pressing the boost button during a call will turn boost mode off. 
This function is useful if multiple people use the phone who may not need the boost function. The boost button can also enable a boost of the outgoing speech amplification, or OSA. Use this function to boost your own voice going out on the call if your voice is perceived to be too quiet by the person on the other end. Hold the boost button for five seconds during the call or in standby mode to enable the outgoing speech amplification. A beep will indicate that OSA is turned on and the OSA light will turn on. When you are done with this function, hold the boost button down for another five seconds. A beep will let you know the function is turned off. These lights are used to indicate different functions of the phone, as we've seen, but they are also the visual ringer. When you receive a call, the lights will flash to let you see visually that the phone is ringing. This is the button to contact a Clarity Customer Care representative. The speaker phone button is used to enable the speaker phone function. Press it once while on a call to enable speaker phone. A red light will indicate that speaker is on. You can also use the speaker phone button to answer an incoming call in speaker mode. Press it again to turn off the speakerphone function. Next to the handset are the flash, redial, pause, and mute buttons. Flash is used for functions like call waiting or three-way calling. If you subscribe to these services through your phone service provider, you can use flash to switch lines for call waiting. The redial button will dial the last number dialed. The pause button adds a pause in dialing phone numbers in programming mode. The mute button mutes the outgoing voice during a call for added privacy. It will blink red to indicate it is in mute mode. When the phone is idle, the mute button will silence the ringer. The button will be backlit red when the ringer is off. The mute button will also silence the ringer when a call is coming in. To place a call, lift the receiver, then dial the numbers with the numerical pad. The Alto has 10 memory locations for frequently called numbers accessible from the memory keys. To program the speed dial numbers, do the following. Press and hold the desired memory location key. The phone will beep and the keypad will start blinking to let you know you're in memory mode. Enter the phone number you'd like to store. If you need to add a two-second pause, you can press the pause button during this process. Press the same memory location key when you've completed dialing the number. The phone will beep three times to let you know the memory button is now programmed with your chosen number. We hope you enjoy your new Clarity Alto. You can find all these instructions in the user guide included with your phone.